Hey collectors, Anthony from Hashtag here, and today we are going to check out Transformers Legacy Wreck and Rule Comic Impactor. The leader of the Wreckers and sporting his comic book design, he has partnered with new Wreckers member Spindle, a fossilizer Spinosaurus. When we get back, we will try not to get in his way. To your left is Siege Autobot Impactor, and to your right is, of course, the Legacy Comic Universe Impactor from the Wreck and Rule Collection. And before we take a look at these guys, let's take a look at the box. So the box is this. Uh, it also has Spindle, but Spindle is a different review. It's a nice pose up front. Uh, the Legacy side panel, the transformations, 19 steps. The tank the other side of the panel and the top is this inside the box is all of this so what we have is the weapons were inside this paper here I guess they're trying to use less tape maybe so they just fold it up in here one piece of tape as you see and then of course there's the instructions and the don't hurt yourself paper so don't hurt yourself the top part of the hammer, which uh, reminds me of Molnir, but uh, collect the other pieces and you can put this thing together. Then of course there is the cardboard that is used to hold the figures and the used paper ties, so that's great. And uh, I like how creative we're getting on using less and less cardboard, so uh, you know a little bit more towards the equal friendliness of it. So as you can see, there is a clear color difference between them. There's, this is a more purple. I want to say this is a more grape color. I, I don't, I mean, it's clear on the camera. You can see the difference. Um, there's some paint apps, like this doesn't have any on the shins, but this does here. Um, and the plastic's purple down here. So they change things up a little bit. Um, let's see, maybe I do it this way. Um, as you can see, uh, Siege had that damage thing where the mud or whatever, but you should get a purple patch here and a different color here and you can see there's a little bit of uh tweaking but not so much the back and sides than it is the front and the cannon so they all both have the same weapons you got this little sharp thingy and this gun which i mean i guess they're both technically guns and then they have the shoulder mounted cannon now his has a uh, familiar reports on the top and bottom which allows you to like mount this thing or the other gun depends on what you want to do they did something weird here where there is no port up here this is this piece here i'm still not quite sure what it's for and you only have one port here but this comes off because this was part of one molded piece this is separate so you could plug this in in here if you wanted to and um otherwise this goes here but the inability to plug anything on top of here in addition it kind of makes me a little bit sad um, my guess on the bottom piece here is maybe this is meant to do this, but it, it doesn't really fit. So I'm not quite sure what this is supposed to imply, or it was just a cheap way to waffle it. Either way, um, not, not the biggest fan. But uh, let's get a transformation. Uh, I will take the guns off, put them aside. And, oh, and I should mention, you can, of course, attach the guns together. You know, get something kind of like this if you really wanted to. Uh, so transformation is fairly simple. Uh, you have to fold the arms around, or technically the wrists, I guess. And uh, they do this. And I, I, uh, we're gonna just kind of stretch them out like this. We're gonna move the cannon up like this. In the back here, you flip his head back. Uh, I, you have to turn it 180 degrees because you need it to be flat. And that closes over here. Uh, the front end lifts up. And um, you're supposed to position the arms so when they go underneath, they fold in rather nicely. And um, trying to do it, I kind of got it stuck here. There you go. Um, do it in such a way where they fold underneath and you have this piece in. Because this is what's going to attach to this. Oops, this, we detached this. Here we go and uh, match it on the other side so try to keep it lined up 
and rotate that in and we can attach this match it on the other side and there are tabs here that go into the arms you can line it up snap it into place and then you can fold the cannon down and then that's when you would add this now I want to point out like the cannon on his shoulder is a lot more beefier than on the new ones and I, I feel like they muted him by doing this but uh, I never read the Wreckers comic so I have no idea if it was like this specifically in the comic but uh, also with the way they kind of did the top here it doesn't like do flush it's kind of off in an angle which bothers me too anyway to the legs uh, the legs do attach um, let's just peg them into each other uh, the feet fold them pull out this area here and um, there is a place here in the waist you want to kind of snap it like that so what we're doing is sliding these side panels backwards and there are these tabs here the feet there's these uh, holes here that are going to go into here to stabilize it and this one has just a nice satisfying little click when you do it and then you try to get the piece on see if I can do it on this one too there we go it's a nice tight fit put things back into place if you can and voila he rolls nicely he has like four casters so no problem with that and he looks decent enough but uh, let's compare him with siege impactor so here they are together um i mean they're again almost identical just uh chest plates different on the top here the cannon's different or i should say the shoulder cannon is different uh generally the same i mean if we just coloring's obviously slightly darker on him i guess would be a good word for it and uh so we go to the back the other side and the front uh the bottom again the same uh four casters on the other one and they roll just exactly the same all in all it's a nice sturdy figure so if you're looking for a comic accurate impact it's the way to go and with him we have had three impactors releasing in just a few years i had previously acquired the siege autobot impactor the FanVote 3 pack Decepticon Impactor, and now this more comic accurate version. Honestly, I am confused about the molding choices made with the shoulder cannon. I get it, you can substitute other weapons on the front of it now, but getting rid of the 5mm port on one of the sides eliminates a weapons mounting possibility. With that said, tell me in the comments what you thought about this action figure. Did you get it, and what do you think about it? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.